so this morning we, uh, we kicked off our mission and values. We got together as many employees as we possibly could, shutting down the pit, most of the maintenance areas, and running a skeleton crew in the plant. Uh, it was that important to us that everybody hear it firsthand. Uh, at the same time, we, we filmed it, and so we can share it with all of our employees on site as they come in. Welcome this morning. I'd like to welcome Paul Martin, our CEO as well, uh, the rollout of our, uh, our mission and our values. It's been a work in progress over the past kind of six months, and um, welcome, Paul. I'm going to kick off by putting the hats on. Right. They're, they're a good-looking hat. People are sporting them. Go ahead, throw them on. Good morning, everyone. This is a great opportunity now, so I wanted to thank you. I want to thank you all for, for your efforts, your commitment, for moving this mine through construction, through commissioning, and now through to the operational stage. Each one of you are, are at the forefront of what's going to define what this operation is ultimately going to be. A mission and values, what are they and why do we need them? The necessity for, for a mission is, is, to, is to give people a point of context, an aspirational reach, how to improve the overall operation. So we wanted something that was, what was catchy and, and easy to remember, and I think we've gotten that done now with respect to our mission, which is getting it right. So on a day-to-day -day basis for people on the ground, uh, whether they're filling out their task cards in preparation for doing work, setting up the safety of their job, even so much as how they're approaching their job, it's, it's a question that begs, you know, are we getting it right? What do we have to do to get it right? And then when we're finished, did we get it right? And if not, what can we do to improve the next time that allows us to, to get it right moving forward? Values are foundational within the organization and uh, through an exercise of focus groups, we've come up with a list of five. Now, I've been asked uh, a couple of times in the values, why isn't safety a value? Without safe operations, uh, we don't exist. And so we want to use the values and the mission statement to support and strengthen our resolve in safety. So our commitment to safety is we are committed to zero. There is simply no other target. I will not be happy until we achieve zero. Uh, and I think all of us need to be committed to that and we need to think about it as we step through our day-to-day -day workings. I truly believe that the, the mission and the values will allow us to improve on our safety uh, performance and on our day-to-day -day approach to safety. I assure you that if people embrace this, we will have a safer operation, we'll have a more efficient operation, and we'll have a lot more enjoyment at work. And for you, my ask is very simply, begin to use them, begin to call out your supervisors, superintendents, all the way up to me. So, you know, it's gonna take all of us supporting each other, all the way to me, in order to get this done right, and for us to continue to be successful. I'd just like to thank everybody for your time. Uh, thanks for listening and have a safe day. So for those who unfortunately couldn't be here today, uh, you know, listen to what the video says, be engaged, uh, take this on as, uh, as, as a self-challenge to use it, to experiment with it, and using getting it right and applying our values. Hold people accountable, hold yourself accountable, hold your supervisors accountable, hold me accountable uh, to, these, to this mission statement and our values.